Today we will discuss about the taxonomic hierarchy in living world in zoology. So in the, in the previous video we study about taxonomy. Taxonomy means identifying, classifying and naming of the organism. So that is called taxonomy. Hierarchy is the arrangement based on the biological information. So, in biological classification, the taxonomical hierarchy includes seven main categories. So, the taxonomic hierarchy has seven main categories. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And the other intermediate categories are subkingdom, grade, division, subdivision, subphylum, superclass, subclass, superorder, suborder, superfamily, subfamily, subspecies. Species. This is the basic unit of the classification in taxonomical hierarchy system. So basic unit means what is your basic need for education at the younger stage? So you are joining in LKG. So that is the basic. You became a doctor also. So what is the first grade you had in, in LKG? You had studied ABC. Because of that only you are studying till becoming a doctor or an engineering. So like that species is the basic unit in the classification of taxonomy. So the group of animals having similar morphological features and is reproductively isolated to produce fertile offspring. So group of animals same with the external morphology means external features. Morphologically they are similar that is external features and reproducers are same that is isolated. Isolated means same that is same same morphology and reproductive function is same it produces fertile offsprings fertile young ones and there are some exceptional animals which produce sterile offspring by mating the closely related species so the closely related species are crossed they produce sterile offsprings sterile means they cannot able to develop the young ones so there are four there are some of the sterile offsprings given here hinny mule liger and tigon so they resembles like that is like a liger is like a lion so it is a combination of tiger and the lion okay tigon that is lion and the tiger and the mule mule is a combination of a horse and donkey Hini. So these are the four types they have got crossed with the closely related species that is tiger and the lion. Okay. But what happened the result is mule. They cannot able to reproduce the own like a liger or tiger or mule or hinni. Okay. A cross between male horse and female donkey results in hinni that is sterile. So male horse, so it is this one, hinni. So male horse and female donkey are crossed. So what come ta what are the acceptation? The offspring is hinni and it cannot produce offsprings. Same way, male donkey and female horse results in mule. So this one, this one mule, they may ask, okay. In uh, your two mark question. So male donkey and female horse is crossed. So they get mule. It is a sterile one. Same way male lion and female tiger is crossed. So male lion and female tiger is crossed. You get liger. And male tiger and female lion is crossed. You get tigon. So this one. So these are the crosses how we get. Okay. 
they are sterile they cannot able to reproduce the young ones so these four um, that is organisms cannot able to produce offspring okay genus so the group of closely related species are evolved from common ancestor so the group of species comes from ancestor ancestor means our forefathers that is grandfather great grandfather they are the ancestors so they are they having the same tree from the same tree the fruits are come like that the group of species from the same ancestor it comes means then it is called genus so monotypic genus and polytypic genus are there monotypic means one genus one species so example red panda allurus is the genus allurus fulgens is the red panda name so you just remember red panda so no need to um, read of that there is no need to think about the allurus fulgens you if you know if you um, remember it allegrus that is allurus allurus fulgens okay fulgens fulgens or fulgens okay allurus sp also you can write allurus the small sp also you can write and paul this is the monotypic panda okay and the next one is polytypic genus so one, one genus with more species for example the cats felis domestica is the normal cat okay and felis ma marigata okay the these are the types of cat you have seen but what are we are seeing around our, our house and around our surroundings it is felis domestica there are three types of cats are there so you know one thing felis domestica is the domestic cat we are we are seeing around our house around our surroundings family group of genus genera is nothing but genus and they are compared to this genus and species so genus and species collectively that is the group of genus and species are collectively known as family so here the family felidae felidae and the genus felis so the genus felis the cats as we see cats cats domestic that is cats is felis domestica and felis marigata okay so these are the things we seen in a family common family called felidae order so group of re related families are kept in an order example canidae and felidae are kept in carnivora order carnivora order canidae and felidae so canidae and felidae the felidae is a cat and canidae is a tiger family that is tiger family both are kept in a carnivore because they eat carnivores are meat eating okay class one or more orders are kept in a class so order is primates so the primates include monkeys apes and man okay monkey apes is nothing but chimpanzee like monkey that is next one is man they are all kept under mammals mammalia that is milk producing young ones and milk feeding the young ones okay phylum phylum the group of classes or kept in a phylum example species that is fishes amphibia you know frogs reptilia that is lizard like snake crocodile comes under reptiles apes birds mammalia mammals kingdom so various phyla are grouped under the kingdom there are only two kingdoms animal kingdom and plant kingdom so we are dealing with the zoology so i had given only animal kingdom so here a systematics of the human being see kingdom 
so about the human beings you have to write now starting the hierarchy how you so kingdom animalia so the kingdom is animalia so next one is chordata so you have written kingdom next is phylum chordata class mammalia order primate order primate family homonidae genus homo sem our species sapiens so this is the that is hierarchy systematic of the human human beings that is homo sapiens so animals we all are also animals so the kingdom is animal and the next one is phylum is chordata chordata means having backbone class mammalia means the body is covered with hair and mammary glands is there okay primata means they have that is eyes looking that is eyes and fingers are there so the mammals that they ha they have the eyes in the forward that is in the front we are having eyes no and you have fingers for grasping for uh, taking uh, the uh, things for you are taking that is you are uh, taking the things uh, that is called grasping homonidae homonidae means the primates relatively have flat face and binocular vision so we have a flat face our face is flat with binocular vision means two eyes binocular means two eyes so the eyes was in the center of the two eyes you have a nose so it is binocular binocular means two the middle nose two eyes the separated by the nose that is called the homonidae homo so they are having brain and upright posture so we have homo means brain was well developed and we are standing straight we are not bending or in we are in erect posture means standing straight species sapiens so sapiens higher intelligence so we can we have two things no two hands and two legs and we have higher intelligence we can able to talk and we are a sixth sense person okay you know uh, five senses are seen in animals but we the man is very special because we can able to speak so we have very good intelligence okay very good intelligence you can able to read write and you can invent any new thing to the world and you can discover vasins also okay so that due to that intelligence the sapiens means that is the meaning that is you have bipedal means bipedal means two legs two hands and higher intelligence okay so everything you can decide and do so this is the systematics of the human being and recently they had discovered the species in south india so scientists have discovered a new and unusual species of frog in the west western ghats in india in august 2017 so the frog has shiny purple skin a light blue ring around its eyes and a pointy pig nose it is named as bhupati the purple frog nasikara batrakas bhupati so it is to honor the subramaniam dr subramaniam bhupati herpetologist that is reptiles he study herpetologist means the person who study about reptiles is called herpetology who lost his life in the western ghats in 2014 so he was died in 2014 western ghats so be on on honoring him so the frog was named as that is it is a new variety in 2017 so the name as nasa nasaka batrakas bupati in july 2017 
a 9 years old boy discovered a new freshwater species of jellyfish in Kodaikanal Lake Tamil Nadu. So 2017, yes, only 9 years old had seen this jellyfish in Kodaikanal Lake Tamil Nadu. A newly discovered Himalayan forest thrush bird was named after the birdman of India. Ornithologist means the person who studies about birds. Dr. Salim Ali. So the name of the bird is Zutira Salim Ali. Salim Ali. So Zutira Salim Ali. A fruit bat. So the bat which eats fruit. It is called fruit bat. Is named after him. Latidens Salim Ali. Okay, Latidens, Salim Ali. This they may ask in your NEET exam. Thank you for watching the video. If you have doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.